Greetings fellow Pagan Pals. Today I'm walking you through my routine on spring cleaning for my sacred space. My altar needs dusting, so first I'm going to grab a bin and clear my altar to get down to the nitty gritty of it all and to address this little dusty problem here. Gross. I'm making a gentle cleansing spray using some white vinegar, water, peppermint, and eucalyptus essential oils, and a spray bottle. I use 10 drops each of peppermint and eucalyptus oil to dispel any negative vibes and to promote positive energy, which is perfect for your sacred space. Fill the rest of your bottle up with half white vinegar and half water. Give it a good shake and now you're ready to clean your sacred space. Spray on your surface, grab a rag and wipe down making sure you get every little crevice because your sacred space may be a little more grimy than you initially anticipated. I know I didn't expect it to be that bad until I got to the roof of my altar and honestly you guys, ew, <laughs> but hey, dust happens. When that's done, follow up with a heavy smudging of sage and while that burns, I'm gonna focus on this little copper bell I have. At least it used to be copper, it's just so tarnished, so I'm going to try to bring back that shine with some table salt, a lemon wedge, a cup, a rag, and some mineral oil to use as a protectant when I'm done. Squeeze your lemon into your cup, add some salt until it's the consistency of a slushy mixture. Cover your entire copper piece with the mixture and leave on for 5 minutes. Then go in with your hands and rub using the salt to get rid of all that muck on the copper. You'll know it's working because your salt mixture will start to turn gray. Rinse with water and dry and then just coat it with a thin layer of mineral oil to buff back that shine. Ooh, that's much better. For any crystals you may have, they need to be cleansed too. In a bowl, add some sea salt. I have about a tablespoon of salt here, Himalayan salt. Fill the bowl with water and mix around until the salt dissolves. Add in your crystals and then pause to just send out a prayer of positive intent before leaving them to sit for 1 to 24 hours. When you're ready, just remove them from the bowl, rinse, and pat dry. Back at your sacred space, use your spray on any other dusty sacred objects before putting everything back on your clean surface and be sure to clean that chalice you forgot during your last ritual. I know I'm not the only pagan out there who does that. Now as for my mess of a candle snuffer here, a quick way to clean it is to just pour some boiling water from a kettle into a cup and then just drop your snuffer right into the cup and right away you'll start to see all that wax is melting off and when you move it around you can see all that soot and gunk coming to the surface. After about a minute or two, remove the snuffer and wipe with a rag. Be careful though because the snuffer will be hot. Now that it's all shiny and new again, place it back on your sacred space. Go ahead and start returning your sacred items back onto your altar, passing them through sage smoke. You can recite your personal sacred chants as you do so to cleanse your objects. And as a final step, mix sea salt and water together, dip your finger into it, and trace the symbol of your spirituality onto the surface to bless and purify your sacred space. And we're done! And all ready for another year of rituals. Subscribe now, become a Pagan Pal, like out this video, and I'll see you next time for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such. Bye!